Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to give you my honest thoughts on Framer's new Framer AI. So what I basically have here on the screen is I have ChatGPT open. I have my own website open for the course. So this is not the course website. This is just my own homepage. So we have these sections here and the website looks really good. I'm impressed by it. So imagine if I wanted to create that website or let's say a lot of people are championing this Framer AI. It's a good starting point. This is something you can start with and all of that stuff. But first of all, if you actually want to use it, you can go to the homepage on Framer. You can start with start with AI. And when you actually land on the page, you're going to get the start with AI button. Additionally, you can press I and you can get the AI button here as well to generate pages. But I basically have a general outline of my own page here. And I'm going to basically ask AI to generate it. So I'm going to ask AI to generate it. And I'm going to pause this video ideally and come back to it once most of the site is generated. Okay, guys. So finally, after I don't know how much time it has actually generated it, and this is what I get. This is super exciting and I'm super. Give me a break. Give me a break. Like I'm so <laughs> disappointed with Framer AI. And I'm even more surprised by many people actually claiming this to be like really something awesome and something exciting. This sucks, man. This sucks. And I'm going to tell you why. Now, a lot of people may say, hey, obviously it's not like a final design. You may actually change it and whatever. But I mean, I'm going to get into the details of it. But one thing that I actually want to point out, one thing that's really good about it is they have introduced a, a way to actually change the palettes. But unfortunately, it's only on uh, when you're actually generating something from AI. I actually want this feature uh, to be there on all websites as well. So I can actually create multiple palettes to experiment and play around with it and easily change them. But unfortunately, that's not there. I can also refresh the palette to get new palettes as well and see them. So that's good. You can also change the fonts as well. If I want to change them, if I want to change the style, I can go ahead and do that. So those two things I'm impressed by, but the AI generation sucks honestly. And I'm going to tell you why. So it sucks for a couple of reasons. First of all, if you're creating a client website, well, let's say if I'm creating my own website, if I wanted to create this website that I have in front of me, tell me honestly, tell me honestly without hyping up Framer or without trying to gain subscribers by showing them something that's really is awesome and hyping them up and creating excitement just so they can like your video. Tell me honestly, what exactly would I use from this particular website on this particular course website that I myself created? Would I use this title? Is that what you think? Or would I use this image? Obviously, I'm not going to use this image. I'm going to use another image. And just tell me a few things. I asked it to generate a course website on Figma Noob to Pro. Intro section should contain a title, subtitle, and a video. Where is the title, subtitle, and the video? I don't see the title being there. I don't see, I, I see the title being there. I don't see the subtitle. I don't see the video. Similarly, I asked it, then we have a why this course section with six styles. I don't have that either. I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to go to chat GPT and I'm going to ask it to just generate this. Okay. So it has an intro, intro, introduction session. It has a title. It generated a subtitle. It generated a video. I asked it to generate six styles for why this course section. It has generated those six styles. So honestly speaking, this is even crappier than chat GPT 3.5. This is free chat GPT. You can use Bard. It's going to do a better job. Hopefully chat GPT 4 obviously is going to do a much better job, but Framer is like chat GPT minus 3.5 or something. It's not even following simple instructions. If it's using OpenAI, at least read what OpenAI is generating. It's like frustrating. And I mean, what's frustrating and surprising and astonishing to me is people just for a few likes are hyping this up. They just want to again talk about like how this is really awesome and they just want to capitalize on this particular thing without highlighting how this is like severely limited. So if I wanted to use this as a starting point for my own website, tell me honestly, what would I do? Because if you actually see here, the text styles that are here as well, aren't definitely styles. So it has not created styles. These color styles are not styles, so I cannot change them globally. I would have to manually go ahead and change or create variables for this. I would have to manually create like heading styles and text styles to actually scale responsively because what's happening here right now is, and oh my God, this is so, I'm just going to delete it because it's actually bothering with the selections. So here, as you can see, this particular text is just 80 pixels. And then we have something here that's like 64 pixels. So it's manually resizing the text. If I was to go here, I was to create, let's say a heading one. So I'm going to create heading one. As you can see, as soon as I created this textile, these 
manual textiles that it had created already disappeared. So if you're professionally creating a website for a client, would you be using this, this as a starting point? All of the responsive things that it has done with the textiles with perhaps some of the buttons and some it didn't even generate buttons here. But even if it did, in some cases it did generate buttons and it can generate buttons. And even those like you would have to create components out of them, right? You would have to add hover states. Obviously you may want to change the buttons as well and do everything. So I'm not really sure how this would be helpful for a person who's actually creating a professional website. They would have to create all of these textiles. They would have to make all of the colors, uh, variables, and as they would basically have to create a style guide from beginning. So I mean, this is super unimpressive and I'm not really uh, impressed by it. One thing that I do want to point out is you can actually get a bunch of prompts for free from prompts.framer.ai and these are prompts that a lot of people can use. For example, we can just use this. Let's just use this prompt as well to see a job that it's doing and how well of a job is it actually doing. So I'm going to delete everything. Let's just go ahead and actually delete these two pages, delete, delete, and then delete. And maybe I'm not doing the prompting right, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and actually use this and let's wait for it to generate. And once it's done, I'm actually going to come back. Actually, I don't even need to come back because it's basically giving me an error. Let's try again one more time. I mean, I'm not bothered by the fact that it's obviously at its limit because a lot of people are experimenting with it. That's like a technical fault and that's nobody's fault. Obviously, that's a limitation based on the capacity and the usage of it. So that's not Framer's fault. Framer's fault is designing something crappy and something that does not even compete with chat GPT, man. I mean, it is what it is and I'm not super impressed and I don't think anyone should be. This definitely is not replacing your job. And for those who are actually thinking of using this uh, to actually publish websites and sell websites to clients, by all means, go ahead because you guys are going to help people like me or other people who actually know how to use Framer because when people realize how crappy this thing is, they're going to come to us and hopefully buy from us or acquire our services. So by all means, go ahead, use this AI thing and more props to you. I mean, no one's saying that this can't be better. This can definitely be better because that's what, that's why I'm like pissed off for this because this could have been so much better, but they decided to publish something crappy. And yeah, I mean, it's just completely unimpressive. So that's pretty much it. I'll see you later. Take care. Bye.